I don't know if I did a video on this or not, but uh, I put this together to fit on the front bucket of the tractor, on the front loader. And uh, it slides over the, the lip of the bucket. I dropped these two bolts through it right here. Uh, I drilled two holes in the bucket and uh, it kind of slides through. This kind of holds it in place. Uh, and what it's for is if I want to move the trailer around because what you're using the front you can maneuver the trailer in a lot tighter place, places than if you were doing it from the rear. Um, and I also use this when I am raising or lowering the light pole because I've got a light pole out back, I don't know, it's 30 feet long or so. And uh, what I do is, again, I put this on the bucket and then I can pull this out. Yeah, it's been in there for a while. I pull this out and now that pole fits right in between this fork and I just let it rest and as I back up the pole comes down as I back up then I can replace the light bulb or repair whatever I have to do and as I drive forward the pole again staying in between the forks all right um, and then what I do is I put a strap across it so that if I go too far forward it's not gonna fall forward so uh, so that's how that works. So this works on the front bucket and it works for me either lowering or, ri or raising the light pole and it also works with this so I can move the trailer around because again moving the trailer around with this in the front is a hell of a lot better than trying to maneuver from the back. And then there's also another piece that I can slide down in here. That's what this is for so I can tighten it up if I have to and tighten up the down piece that goes in. So. But uh, this came in handy. I used to, uh, I used to do this too on my, uh, on my van, my big van that I used to have when I had the boat. Uh, one of our first boats, my little 27 footer. Because that one I used to have the trailer for it and we used to just bring it down to the, down to the boat ramp. And I'll tell you what, when you want to maneuver it or park it or, or back, the, back it into the yard into a tight spot, it's better just to let it off the, the rear hitch, turn the truck around, grab it with your front hitch, because I had a front hitch on the truck. Um, not a heavy duty one, but it was a front hitch and it, and it worked well for my 27 foot boat. I was able to maneuver my boat into wherever I wanted to put it a lot easier than trying to back it in. So, uh, and that's basically one of the reasons why I made this for the front, because I used to do it with the boat and it worked great. And doing it with the trailer for the tractor, it works even better yet. So, but anyway, that's what it is. And uh, yeah, put it all together, welded it. I had some spare parts, so I just started welding my parts together. You know, um, I had this piece here, this, so I welded this in. Uh, and then uh, cut this, welded it to the flange there, and then I welded it onto these two pipes that I already had, so I didn't have to make the side pipes. They were already made i just had to put them together and welded them here and underneath and i also put this little drag plate on there to help it too so in case it's got a skid plate on it so and then uh, and that was about it so it worked out pretty good the hardest part was cutting it because even though i've got a saw over there that cuts this um you know a drop saw a chop saw rather um the blade uh is really tough i mean it's it's just about ready for replacement it's it's pretty well worn um so it takes a little bit longer to do any cutting but uh, i got through enough to do this so but anyway i don't know if i remember showing you guys this or not works good especially like i say if you got an old van or an old vehicle and you do some towing and you can hook up a little front hitch to that front bumper somehow you're going to find it's a lot easier when you're trying to maneuver that trailer into a tight place when you're coming from the front.